words of self, words of triumph, words of tragedy. I see through the lies and the truth of words. Words slip in through the ears like teasing tongues, ever listening and travel into the brain, always absorbing. Words speak through the mouth, teeth, lips, and tongue. Blushing cheeks of romance hide out of bashfulness due to words of love. Heart beats at stampede, speed from words of recognition. Bodies quiver with pleasure from words of beauty, purity, and sincerity. Feet tingle at words of flattery and jump for joy. Words are everything and nothing. Words are in between the lost moments. Words are a visual radio written by a tenacious author in training. Words are read by millions of mute voices without any obligation. Words are sealed and sent by dove to the lowly poet's fair lady who deserves them the most. Words are treasured over the years to come. Words are passed down to the much-needed generations of followers yearning for knowledge. Words greet. Words chant. Words bless. Words curse. Words live. Words die. Words laugh. Words cry. Words love, hate, screw, and kill. Words assimilate, procreate, flirt, and head for the arc to chill. Words invite hunger, thirst, and pop the pill. Words gaze, daydream, pardon, and experience the most enduring thrill. Words melt hearts, freeze frames of mind, force feed religion down glued throats, rebel for a decent cause, remain neutral, take sides, declare peace or war, and sing melodies of distance. Words shout at the earth, mumble behind one's stabbing back, murmur secret plans, mutter to themselves, caress skin of angels, create poetry, destroy demonic senses, and announce the arrival of a newborn. Words moan during coitus, kiss the cupid-like lips of fate, whisper sweet nothings, beg for forgiveness, flow as the schizophrenic ocean waters have done. Kevin, line two. Kevin, line two. Interrupt poetry readings. <laughs> Entertain hungry audiences. Commence the race to life and cease to be. <laughs> Words coexist within each other, spin in the faces of evil, walk on the wild side, run away from danger, relate to the seekers of gullibility, protect those in need of salvation, rhyme endlessly, and vow to bond with your other half. Words up, words down without a doubt and second thought. Be true to your words. One cannot be him or herself without their dearest words. Words deliver a pastoral opus so contemplative and incredibly convincing. Words mean what you, and only you, wish for them to mean. Words become repetitive. The same four-letter words act as broken records again and again throughout one's dismal life. Words sway side to side like dancing palm trees in the almighty Terra Mother strip club of Eden. Words become inscribed on different sightings from cave etchings to the front of your doorstep entering each and every one of your souls. Words are vengeful friends that correlate with a camaraderie of hands held at once. Words are love letter fragments that are used in the cut-up method that Bowie and Burroughs demonstrated. Words are nature's tandem bicycle. Words can hurt the most fragile texture heart. Words can heal a homeless drifter on the shunned streets. Words can be chosen wisely to avoid any scandal ahead. Words can pray to the toll booth skies. Words judge others who think they have sinned, but we are only human, sinning every day. Words regurgitate on accidents to the nearest high school crush, but she returns with a passion kiss. Words search for the true meaning of existence, but they have already found their purpose. Words jeopardize a lost cause to keep animal rights intact, but those goddamn superiors keep us at bay. Words wait down the line for every one of us. Words tell us empty promises and then fulfill them anyway. Words think about loyalty, but they are only the most loyal subjects. Words call on working class heroes to collect pieces of amorous double takes. 
Words hang out to dry beside the crinkled paper near the frustrated writer's cry. Words tell the tales of ye olden times, dating back to the days of beginning, innocence, and havens of the heavens. Words sleep throughout every blanket storm and awaken to the dawn of calligraphy. Words transformed this world into a dystopian society, predestined apocalyptic laughter through false prophecy words. Words hunger for the balance of choir hymns and thirst for the deepest darkness of the spirits that swim within nirvana. Words around town are scattered rumors that are rapidly shot at the speed of life, similar to that of Japanese bullet trains. Thank you, Inkblood, for spilling my words gently like the sweetest honey on a lover. Thank you, papers of creation, for soaring across the universe with my words as swift as a shuttle breaking the sound barrier. Destiny or density? Words or sword? Without words, what is the point? What is your point? What is my point? Eight o'clock appointment to receive sane words of advice. Greece or the bird that everybody has heard about? The words are in and the words are out. Words, words, words. Oh, yeah. <laughs>